Hi everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom for our Maths Easy episode today. We will be talking about simplifying brackets. So let's get started. In this video, we will learn how to be able to expand and simplify expressions involving single brackets. So if we want 2 of 2x plus 3, what will it have? So if we have this, the word of here is actually meant to be multiplication. So it will be 2 of 2x plus 3, there will be 2 of 2x so that will be 4 and 2 of 3 will be 6 so it will be 4x plus 6 so what is the other way of writing 2 of 2x plus 3 so that will be 2 bracket 2x plus 3 close brackets so the word of once again means multiplication so we can multiply each term inside the bracket by the term outside the bracket. So the term outside to each of the term inside, which is 2x and 3x, which gives us 4x plus 6. We can also see this using areas. So for example, in this area, we have the side, which is the measurement is 4 and on the other side you have 2 and x so to get the total of this side that should be 2 plus whatever is the value of x so for this example it will be the area of this rectangle is length times width so writing that down you will have let me just write the width first it's 4 and then times the length which is 2 plus x so the total area for this rectangle will be 8 that's multiplication plus 4x which our x here can be any integer that it could represent now here are three scenarios or examples that applies brackets number one is expanding so for example, you have two brackets, 4 plus x. So here, when we expand, we actually multiply the term outside to the term inside. So 2 times 4 will be 8 plus 2 times x will be 2x. The other way of applying brackets would be dealing with negatives. Now, if there is a negative sign outside of the term, outside, like for example, this one, you have negative 2x, you need to carry the negative sign and apply the rule of integers, which means negative times a negative is positive, and negative times a positive is negative. So 2, which is negative 2, times 3, will be negative 6 negative 2 times negative 2x will be positive 4x and the last one is expanding and simplifying so when we talked about simplifying that means that we have to combine like terms so what are like terms like terms are terms which has the same variable for example 2x and 3x are like terms negative y and 6y are like terms so for us to be able to simplify this the first thing that we have to do is expand by multiplying so again since there is a negative sign before 2 outside of the bracket we have to carry that sign so negative 2 times 1 will be negative 2. So copy 4 minus 2 and then negative 2 times negative 3x will be positive 6x. 6x. 
Now, please do take note that we also apply the rule of operations, which we call BIDMAS or PEMDAS. So instead of adding or subtracting 4 and 2 together, first we have to multiply, do the multiplication first into the brackets before simplifying or combining like terms. So for this case, we have 4 and 2 which are like terms. So 4 minus 2 is 2 plus 6x. Now it's your turn. All right, so let's try the first example here. So you have 10 times 3x squared plus 2y minus 5, close brackets. So all we need to do is distribute by multiplication the term outside of the brackets. So 10 times 3x squared will be 10 times 3 is 30, copy x squared, 10 times 2, that's plus 20, copy y, and 10 times negative 5 will be negative 50. Therefore, the final answer would be 30x squared plus 20y minus 50. The second question, the first thing that we have to do is distribute the number outside of the brackets. So 2 times 4x will be 8x. 2 times negative 3 will be negative 6. Negative 3 times 5 will be negative 15. And negative 3 times negative x will be positive 3x. Then we combine like terms. You have 8x and 3x, which are like terms, will be 8 plus 3, 11x. Negative 6 and negative 15 will be negative 21. Therefore, our final answer would be 11x minus 21. The last question, we have 8 minus 3 brackets, 2 minus 2x, close brackets. So we have negative 3. Always remember to carry the sign when you multiply. Copy 8. We follow the rule of BIDMAS. So we negative 3. We multiply negative 3 to 2. That's negative 6. And then negative 3 to negative 2x will be positive 6x. And then we combine like terms. We have 8 and 6. So 8 minus 6 will be 2 plus 6x. Therefore, the final answer would be 2 plus 6x. I hope that you have learned something new today. And for those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Maths Easy series. Bye!